Welcome back guys. Today we will compare two prominent certifications for established blue teamers, the certified defensive security analyst from Hack the Box and Blue Team Level 2 from Security Blue Team. While both are tailored toward defensive cybersecurity, they may differ slightly in course content and exam format. This video provides a detailed comparison to help you choose the best fit for your goals. Let's start with CDSA first. Hack the Box CDSA is an intermediate level certification designed for individuals looking to deepen their knowledge of defensive cybersecurity practices. It focuses on practical and theoretical skills needed to identify, analyze, and respond to cybersecurity threats and incidents. The target audience usually covers entry-level security analysts, entry-level forensics analysts, and even IT administrators. Hack the Box CDSA cover SIEM operations, log analysis, malware analysis, and other domains such as network traffic analysis. The official course content contains hands-on labs that simulate defensive cybersecurity challenges and is structured to build security operations center analyst skills. All right, now let's talk about BTL2. Blue Team Level 2 offered by Security Blue Team is a certification that evaluates your expertise in advanced defensive cybersecurity areas, including threat hunting, incident response, digital forensics, and malware analysis. BTL2 is tailored for individuals with prior experience in incident response and a solid technical understanding of cyber threats. Candidates are also expected to possess intermediate level knowledge of Windows and Linux system administration. As the certification does not cover the internal workings of operating systems or enterprise level Active Directory in detail. Therefore, it is recommended that before pursuing this certification, you gain hands on experience in defensive cybersecurity areas, such as those offered on the Blue Team Labs online platform or through the BTL1 certification. Okay, now that you are familiar with the breakdown of each path, let's now talk about the exam format. Hack the Box CDSA exam lasts for seven days, so be sure to take detailed notes throughout. Document every step carefully, as you'll need to explain everything in your final report. You are required to create two reports. It's advisable not to work on both simultaneously. Complete one before starting the other. Make sure you thoroughly understand all the modules in the course material. Go through the final assessments for each module and attempt to solve them without referring to the solutions or explanations beforehand. I strongly recommend exploring TriHackMe's Security Operations Center, Level 1 and Level 2 paths. These paths provide an opportunity to analyze security incidents involving a substantial volume of logs, helping you refine your methodology, an essential skill for the exam. If you encounter difficulties, you can also refer to the walkthrough videos linked in the video descriptions. All right, now let's talk about the BTL2 exam. The BTL2 exam spans 72 hours encompassing both the in-depth investigation of the provided environment and the preparation of the final report for examiners. The exam is designed to test the application of knowledge gained in the labs. During the first two days, it's recommended to document findings, including screenshots of artifacts and evidence related to the attacker's actions. It's critical to document everything even seemingly minor anomalies, since these could later prove to be malicious. Good documentation tools, whether Cherry Tree, Obsidian, or even the report itself, can bridge information gaps that arise. Note that if the exam lab environment left idle for an extended period, the environment will require a restart, causing loss of progress such as malware analysis setups or configurations. The BTL2 exam is a demanding yet rewarding experience that requires not only technical expertise, but also the ability to construct a coherent story from fragmented evidence. While the labs provide a solid foundation, they could benefit from more emphasis on integrating skills into a cohesive investigative approach. Okay, now let's talk about the course content starting with CDSA. The CDSA curriculum is delivered through a series of modules each focusing on specific defensive security domains such as security operations center processes and methodologies, SIEM operations, threat hunting, and also malware analysis. Each module comprises detailed explanations, practical examples, and assessments to reinforce learning. Hands-on labs simulate real-world defensive cybersecurity challenges, enabling learners to apply theoretical knowledge in practical scenarios. 
upon completion of the course modules, candidates are eligible to undertake a rigorous seven-day examination. This assessment involves performing actual security analysis, security operations, and incident handling activities against real-world heterogeneous networks. Candidates are also required to compose a commercial-grade security incident report, demonstrating their ability to communicate findings effectively. On the other hand, BTL2 has slightly lesser coverage than CDSA. BTL2 domains include malware analysis, threat hunting, advanced CM, and vulnerability management. The course material is structured into two primary sections, theoretical content and practical labs. These sections cover topics such as malware analysis, threat hunting, advanced SIM, vulnerability management, and a final preparation segment for the certification test. The theoretical material is comprehensive, featuring well-chosen examples that are highly relevant for completing the practical labs. For those transitioning to an intermediate level, it is advisable to thoroughly read and take notes on the theory sections as they provide detailed insights. However, this section can feel extensive due to the lack of video content. For individuals with experience in the offensive side of cybersecurity, their background provides a significant advantage for this certification. Thinking like a threat actor can be invaluable during the labs, as it enables you to anticipate the steps typically taken during an intrusion. This perspective is especially helpful in the threat hunting section, where tracing a threat actor's movements through artifacts becomes much easier when adopting their mindset. Additionally, the vulnerability assessment section is straightforward for those familiar with tools like OpenVAS, Nikto, or Nmap. This prior knowledge can significantly simplify the tasks in this part of the course. By now, you must be wondering which one is cheaper. The answer is CDSA. At the time of uploading this video, the Blue Team Level 2 certification, offered by Security Blue Team, is priced at £1,999. On the other hand, the total cost to obtain the CDSA certification is approximately $700. This includes the $490 annual subscription for the necessary training modules and the $210 exam voucher. So now that you have learned about these two certifications, it begs the question, which one to pursue? If you are aiming for an affordable program with wide coverage of practical blue team skills, then you can go for CDSA. However, if the cost doesn't matter for you and you want more condensed content with focus on malware analysis and threat hunting, then choose BTL2. Both BTL2 and CDSA are recognized and respected certifications to pursue bearing in mind that determining which one is more difficult relies on your knowledge and expertise. For me, the experience was similar and both certifications may be similar as to the difficulty level. So that was it. Thank you for watching.